All right, on today's video, we're going to give a brief overview of the book, How to Become CEO by Jeffrey J. Fox, and answer the question, is it okay to be selfish? All right, How to Become CEO, one of the quickest reads that we've covered here in our Stories from the Shelf series. It's less than 200 pages, and it's just filled with short chapters of the do's and don'ts of how to become CEO. The subtitle for this book is The Rules for Rising to the Top of Any Organization. So keep in mind, these rules will not necessarily lead to happiness or fulfillment. So if that's what you're looking for, this book may not be for you. But each chapter is super relevant and of course we're not going to cover everything here so i included a link below in the description be sure to click on it and go out and buy the book all right so what were my key takeaways here i'm going to cherry pick a few of my favorites chapter four is what we're going to start off here is titled get and keep customers and his point here is that the higher you rise in a company or a corporation the further you distance yourself from the actual customers and if you're insulated by spreadsheets and administrative functions because they're easier and impersonal and safer you're distancing yourself from the customer but working with customers on the ground floor will provide you with the ideas for new products and new applications and can also provide you with early warning signals about your product's quality or about the timeliness and the last thing, the other benefit here is your customers know about your competitors. So knowing your customers is to know the future. All right, next up is chapter seven. Chapter seven is titled, Never Write a Nasty Memo or Email. And I think this is applicable whether you want to become CEO or not. Everyone should read this chapter. He advises to never send a letter when you're angry or frustrated, which again, sounds obvious, but I think we all need that reminder, right? So never write anything that is cynical or unkind. Besides this just being an overall good advice, it's also somewhat selfish. Yes, it is selfish in this case because the world of business is small and your industry is even smaller. So companies merge and people change jobs and you never know where that person that you're about to send that nasty email to is going to end up. So be selfish and don't create an unnecessary enemy that can hurt you later on in your career. Chapter eight is titled, Think for One Hour Every Day. Schedule it, plan it, and don't compromise it. So this is a chance for you to consider your options ponder your problems, write down ideas, and go through mental reps for maybe a big sales call or a major presentation that you got coming up that you're preparing for. And the important thing here is that you plan for this in a scheduled time in a specific place. Don't do it while you're driving or working out or showering or anything like that. Think for one hour every day. And we're gonna close this out by highlighting chapter number 27 titled, Don't Hide an Elephant. Big problems will always surface. So you wanna make sure that you get out in front of these problems because the longer you wait, the more you increase the severity of the problem. So address the problem head on. Discuss possible scenarios and suggest solutions. So why is this important? It's important because you come across as an independent thinker and a self-reporter, somebody who is in control. It sounds a lot like extreme ownership, right? We're gonna to link to that video at the end of this one, so you can click on that. It definitely ties into this concept of don't hide an elephant. So that's it for today's video. Go out and buy the book, How to Become CEO. The link is included below. And also be sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you are finding value in this content, hit the like button and share with a friend or a colleague. And if you have questions on this video topic or you have ideas for future topics, please drop those in the comments below. I really would love to hear from you guys. So until next time, I'm Jim Schaefer, and we'll catch you on the next video.